Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back to another smartphone gimbal review. Like I have done so many reviews on smartphone gimbals, but I just can't. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> but this one is quite different from the others and that's why I wanted to include it in this video. So the clip you just saw was shot on the iPhone 12 Pro Max using the newly released smartphone gimbal, the Smoo, Smoo, the Smooth Q3 by Zoom Crane. Guys, when it comes to smartphone gimbals, there are just so many out there on the market and it really can be difficult to find the right one for you. And I still continue to review gimbals to really help you guys make the right purchase decision. Remember, there is no best smartphone gimbal out there, but there's the right one for you. So for this video, I had none other than George helping me out with the behind the scenes and Polina who acted as the model of today's video. If you're wondering where I find all these models, well, go check out George's Instagram. Anyway, a huge thanks to both for helping me out. So the Smooth Q3 was sent to me by Zion, but I wasn't paid to say anything specific. So everything you hear will be my honest opinion. To give you an idea, I will first give you a quick overview of the Smooth Q3, talk about the build and design quality, mounting and balancing the gimbal, show you how it performs and the different modes you can use, the ZY Cami app and the special features that come along. Talk about the price and my final thoughts to it. There will be a timestamp below if you wanna skip or go back to a particular part of the video. With that said guys, let's jump right in. So let's begin with a quick overview of the Xeon Smooth Q3 gimbal. Starting on top, there is a fill light with a touchable light switch. You have a phone clamp, a lock screw to tighten the vertical arm when setting the gimbal up for shooting, the light indicator that will show you the current mode you're in, a joystick and a mode button. The red line is the record button. To the side, you have a zoom rocker to zoom in and out. And on the opposite side, a type C charging port. Behind there is a power button and below the trigger button. To the very bottom, you have a one quarter thread hole to mount the included tripod. So let's talk about the build and design of the Smooth Q3. It feels very lightweight. It's around 340 grams without the iPhone. The maximum payload is 280 grams, which can easily hold the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The grip feels very comfortable. It has a nice skin to better hold the gimbal. The button layout is made really simple, which allows you to shoot with your fingertips more easily and doesn't cause much confusion. It also has a unique folding design, uh, which makes it compact to carry around. One of the unique features of the Smooth Q3 is the built-in LED light, which is helpful to fill in light. With the touch button, you can easily turn it on and it produces a 4,300 Kelvin warm tone light with three levels of brightness. And the great thing is that you can actually turn the light if you want to light yourself, for example, when doing a vlog. So let's now look at how to mount your phone onto this gimbal. The process is pretty simple. Loose the lock screw of the vertical arm and slide it up until you hear a click sound. Then tighten the lock screw of the vertical arm unlock the tilt and roll axis as shown. On the top, you have a sticker that will indicate the direction of the phone camera. Extend the phone clamp and insert your phone. When positioning the phone in landscape mode, you want to adjust the position of the phone left or right until the phone is steady and is almost leveled with the ground. It's really important to have a well-balanced gimbal to not consume more power for optimal performance. So let me quickly demonstrate what each button does. 
By single pressing the power button, you can check the battery level of the gimbal. Press and holding it for three seconds will power on or power off the gimbal. Double pressing it will reposition the camera. Triple pressing it will change between landscape and portrait mode. Pressing the mode button will switch modes and double pressing it will go back to the previous mode. Long press it to enter or exit standby mode. Using the zoom rocker will control the zoom in the ZY Cami app, which we'll get into later. Pressing the record button once will start recording. This not only works with the ZY Cami app, but also with the standard camera app on the iPhone and even in Filmic Pro. Triple pressing it will switch between the front and the back camera. With the joystick, I can control the movement of the gimbal. Last is the fill light. Long press it to turn it on and when pressing it again, you can adjust the brightness, which has three levels. Keep in mind that you can rotate the light into a certain direction. So let's now look at the modes. Similar to most gimbals, you can access different modes. Let me show you what these modes are on the Smooth Q. PF stands for pan following and locks the tilt and roll axis motor. In this mode, you're able to pan left and right by moving the handle. This is set by default when the gimbal is turned on. L stands for locking and locks all three motors. Here, the smartphone is fixed at a certain angle. F stands for following and locks the roll axis motor. In this mode, the camera pans and follows the movement of the gimbal. This is the mode I use most often for shooting mobile content. POV stands for point of view and unlocks all three motors to follow your gimbal movements. V stands for vortex and rotates the camera. By pushing the joystick up or down manually, the roll axis motor rotates clockwise or counterclockwise. Last is Go, which stands for quick following and allows the camera to pan and tilt quickly to follow fast movements. You can also access this mode by press holding the trigger button. Now in terms of getting different angled shots, you can hold the gimbal upwards, which is used most often, or sideways, or even upside down, which allows for a lower shot and rotates the phone to avoid having the motors blocking the camera. Okay, in this section, I will introduce you to the ZY Cami app. And using an integrated app will allow you to access more features that you can use creatively in your videos. So make sure to enable Bluetooth and then head over to the ZY Cami app. And as you can see, it will automatically search and connect it to the gimbal. So to get back to the home menu, just select the upper left uh, house icon. On top, you have three icons. So the first one showing the battery life of the phone, the second one showing the battery life of the gimbal, and the third one shows the current mode you're in. So if I select a different mode, it will change the icon. Next, we have manual and auto function. So when selecting, this, I can either select auto, which will take over my camera and do the adjustments for me. Or if I want more control over my camera, I can select manual, which will give me access to ISO, shutter, and the exposure value. But I'm gonna leave it in auto for the moment. Next, we have frame rate and resolution. So you can select up to 4K 60 frames per second. And that's what I usually like shooting with. 4K just has more detail and 60 frames per second allows me to slow down the footage. And if you want a more cinematic look, uh, play in normal speed, you can select either 24 or 25 frames per second. And there's also a glamour effect that we're gonna look at next but that won't work in 4K 60 frames per second. So we're gonna select 1080p, 25 frames per second for now to access the glamour effect. So I'm gonna select that. And I don't use this, but um, it's fun to have it. As you can see, oh my God, I'm so young. So next you have even more settings by selecting the three dots. First in the shoot section, you can select grid lines. I leave that enabled. And you can also select grid and diagonals depending on what you're shooting, but I leave it at grid lines. In the white balance section, I can select different presets. So if it's sunny outside, you can select sunny, or if it's cloudy like today, I go for the cloudy option and you can even set your own custom white balance if you want to. But for now, I'm gonna leave it in auto. I'm gonna head back 
Next, we have gesture control. And what this does is when you enable gesture control, you can just make a hand sign and it will start either taking a photo or a video and you can allow the gimbal to follow you. Or if you don't want that, you can select the shoot only. And when doing your gestures, it will take a picture or take a video, but not track your head. But we're gonna look at gesture control in just a second. So let's head back. Next, we have gimbal. So depending on what scene you're shooting, you can select walk or run and the gimbal will adjust its motors. Uh, you can also de uh, select different modes. I usually don't use this. I rather use the controls uh, down here. You can also select the speed of the joystick and the zoom speed, but I leave everything how it is. In the general tab, um, you just have more information. Let me now show you what gesture control is. So to the right, you have this hand icon over there and it's currently turned off. And by pressing it, you will enable gesture control. So when doing a peace sign, it will start record a video, but it won't track me. So if I want the gimbal to track me, I can head over to the three dots and select gesture control. And these are the two signs you can do a peace sign or a hand sign. And I'm going to select follow shoot. So when I do it now, it will start tracking my face. And it does a really good job tracking the subject. And this can be especially useful when doing vlogs, for example. So you can also track objects by drawing a box on the screen. And I'm gonna track this lamp right there. And it does a pretty good job. What you also can do is select the trigger button below and it will automatically detect my face. And to disable it, just hit the trigger button once more. And it's really useful learning all of these shortcuts. This way you'll be way faster when uh, shooting a video and won't lose time. So similar to the standard app on the iPhone, I can uh, set my exposure and focus by tapping on the screen. And I can also lock it by tap holding on it. And now the focus and exposure is locked. And above the record button, you can switch between the front and selfie camera. But like I said, I prefer using the buttons right here. And to the bottom right, you can access your media. So let's now look at the special features that the ZY Cami offers. So tapping on the top right corner will access the templates. You can choose between different templates that will film and edit the video together for you. Let's select the like, for example. And when applying that on top, you can see there's a tutorial video playing for you so that you know what's about to happen. So if I play it, I can see that it's gonna pan to the right. So if I select the record button, it's gonna do exactly that. And I don't have to do anything. It's gonna do everything for me. And then I can hit the next button and it will show the next video. So it's gonna tilt down. So when starting the record button and it's gonna do exactly that. To the very right, you can select other uh, modes. So we have live, which allows you to live stream on different platforms. You have photo, video, you have panorama that allows you to take a wider picture. You have slow motion, dolly zoom. Again, I like how everything is explained step by step. Then you have time lapse and hyperlapse which is especially great when using a gimbal. Now, if you want to switch between cameras, you can easily do that by selecting the times one and dragging it left or right, depending on the angle you're going for. So last but not least, I will show you the editor. So head to the home menu and then select the plus button. I'm gonna switch it to landscape mode. And here you can edit your final video. 
and it's great to have everything in one place. This way you don't have to, you know, search for an other editing app and you can select either templates um, that you can use for your social media or do a quick edit whatever suits your editing needs. All right, so here are my final thoughts on using the Smooth Q3. For the price of $89, you really get a simple and well-designed gimbal that creates smooth looking footage. And that for me is important enough when considering purchasing a smartphone gimbal. Now, I also use this gimbal to shoot uh, vertical videos for a quick social media post. And I was really satisfied with the shots I got. If you haven't checked out the video yet, make sure to head over to my Instagram channel at Bennett Grazer. Overall, I had no issues using the gimbal with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Operating the gimbal felt really great. It followed my hand movement naturally, uh, not causing any robotic movements. I personally don't use most of the apps that come with the gimbal, but what I noticed is that the ZY Cami app compared to other apps has a more understandable and easier to follow interface. The touch light they added is a really nice little feature that can be quite useful when shooting in bad lit areas. I haven't seen this on other gimbals, so this makes it quite unique. Now, of course, with every gimbal, there are also downsides to it. Unfortunately, you're not able to add counterweights to balance the gimbal out when using an attachable lens. Also, you can't charge your smartphone and use the gimbal as a power bank, which is kind of a bummer because shooting videos can drain the battery very quickly. It would also have been nice to be able to change the color temperature on the touch light for more control. Otherwise, I would say this is a great great gimbal to use and it will certainly fulfill its needs for creating stable looking videos. And if you're someone that works with integrated apps, then the ZY Cami is certainly something you would want to check out. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you're new on this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. By the way, if you need more help with making videos with your smartphone, the smartphone filmmaking community, which I created on Facebook, is a great way to ask questions and share your work with others. Well, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. Oh. My package just arrived. See you guys.